Hello to all the aspiring guitarists out there and welcome to my video on five guitars that all beginners should avoid. Now I started playing guitar in 2005 I think and I know how tough it can be to choose your first guitar so I decided to make this video to help you out. Now in this video I'm going to share with you some guitars that I think beginners should steer clear of. Now these are guitars that I've seen beginners make mistakes with. I've also made the same mistakes myself when I was a beginner. And also they're just some that I don't think are worth the money that you pay for them. So if you're a beginner and you're looking for a new guitar, I hope this helps you make a better decision. So I'm just gonna jump straight in and say, if you're a beginner guitarist, maybe you should avoid getting an acoustic. Now hear me out. I used to be a guitar teacher back in 2012 or so. And I bought an acoustic because everyone I was teaching, whether it be adults or children, was playing an acoustic. And the main reason was, get this right, they felt like in order to be a guitarist or to learn guitar, you had to start on an acoustic, which I sort of get the sentiment, but it's like saying, I don't know, if you want to sail a boat, you first have to learn to drive a car. I'm not sure if that analogy works, but one thing is similar to the other, but they're not mutually interchangeable. So the reason why I say don't get an acoustic, unless you actually want to be an acoustic player, you know, that kind of stuff, it's actually really hard. Pressing down on the frets hurts your fingers and when you're a beginner, you've got no calluses, so you kind of get a lot of pain when you're running up and down that metal. Also, holding those chords for long periods of time, if the, the neck on an acoustic usually is thicker than that of an electric, so it kind of gives you a bit of cramp and the beginnings of like carpal tunnel and stuff in your thumb and your hand and your fingers. And if you want to play Metallica, then maybe getting an acoustic isn't the first guitar you want to get, unless again, you want to play Polyphia and you want to play that kind of stuff, then maybe it is. And then that brings me on nicely to seven string guitars. Now again, if you want to play super genty stuff or you want to play super deathcore stuff or you just want to tune down or have an extra range of strings like Steve Vai, that's completely fine. These are not steadfast rules. These are just my opinions on beginners. So I would say seven strings, it's a bit more confusing, isn't it? You've added another string on. I would also go along with what Mick Thompson said in an interview a long time ago. Why get a seven string if all you're ever gonna do is just play low tuned stuff on like drop A and A standard. You could probably just do that on a six string. You could just put thicker strings and tune it down. I believe part of my guitar journey was making mistakes like putting 11 to 62 on a Schecter that I had and then putting it in E standard. That's a bang to make the truss rod go a bit bendy. So yeah, I would say as a beginner, maybe avoid getting a seven string as your first guitar, maybe get one as a second or third. And if you want to start playing Suicide Silence and all those kind of super heavy bands or Steve Vai or Polyphia or anything like that, then maybe invest in one down the line. The next one is a fairly obvious one for some people, but I'm going to say it anyway, Floyd Rose guitars. Floating trem guitars, edge pros, low pros, charlas, carlas, all that kind of stuff. Playing with one alone can be quite difficult. But then restringing one, setting one up, choosing the right string gauge, spring tension, restringing them can take hours, literally hours, especially if you're a beginner and you want to change tunings quite a lot. If you're a beginner, can you just change the Floyd Rose guitar down to drop D? No. You have to literally re-level every single string and change the spring and the action, all that kind of stuff, unless you buy the EVH detuner thing, which is an add-on that lets you just flick between drop D and standard. But again, if you're a beginner, you probably don't wanna be dealing with that. You just wanna be able to tune it down easily. So yeah, I'd say as a beginner, maybe avoid getting a floating trem guitar. Maybe wait until next year's Christmas when you've got two or three or something like that. And you can keep it in E standard forever and the other guitars you can play around with tunings and that kind of thing. The next one is one that a lot of people don't really consider from my experience. Will it make noises? If you want to play Metallica, you don't want single coils. A lot of Stratocasters that were around when I was a kid, you know, the, you know what I mean, I'll probably put a picture here. The black starter kit with the white scratch plate, it usually has three single coil pickups. The pickups that come with a lot of those Stratocasters are not necessarily ideal for metal. Now you can get some guitars that have single coil humbuckers. Yes, that's the good thing about humbuckers. They kind of remove some of the hum. The guys in Iron, Iron Maiden even play with those. And I had a guitar, this Charvel here, that when I first got it, ta-da, they were not 
the ones that I now currently have, which are EMG X models, and I've got this cool upside down EMG X as well. Now, if you want to play super, you know, heavy metal, again, Metallica, Silosis, Black Dahlia, Murder, Lamb of God, all these bands that I feature on the channel, then you may not want single coil Stratocaster style guitars. You will probably want one with a humbucker, at least in the bridge. Now that leads me nicely onto the last point, which is cheap guitars. You want to avoid cheap guitars as a beginner. And I know what you're thinking, Jamie. You've been an advocate of cheap guitars for a while, and I have. I have exactly that. Harley Benton, Court, Vintage, all those other kind of brands that have been around for a long time but now started to pick up. I'm an advocate of those. But what I mean is, specifically, the quality of the guitar. You really want to have a look around when you're looking for guitars and you want to analyse it, and you want to look it over, and you want to check the setup on it, you want to check the string height, you want to check that it feels okay. Kind of like buying a car or a house, maybe take someone with you who knows what they're doing. That then leads me nicely also onto my final point, which is those are five things I would recommend or five guitars I would, would recommend you avoid as a beginner. But if you want to know guitars that I would recommend, click the link in the description below and the pinned comment to download my free, yes, free essentials toolkit for beginners. Whew, that's a mouthful. It's a PDF booklet and it's affiliate links and there's websites to go to and there's picks that I recommend, pedals I recommend, amps, guitars. Like I said, this is a video on guitars I wouldn't recommend for beginners, but this booklet has guitars that I absolutely would recommend for beginners. So if you want to download it, it's completely free. All you have to do is click the link and you put in your email address and it gets sent to you. Simple as that. So yeah, there you have it. That was five guitars I believe all beginners should avoid. Again, don't forget to click the link in the description below and in the comment section to get the free Essentials Toolkit for beginners. Comment down below what you thought of the video. Do you have any hot takes as well about things that you think beginners shouldn't get or should get or am I completely wrong? Like the video as well if you enjoyed it. And if you're new to the channel because of this video or you've been around for a while and you've just never realized that you haven't actually subscribed, please do and ring the bell. And I'll see you guys next week for some more videos. Bye everyone.